Welcome back. Over the past several videos, we have learned how to assert that an HTML element is rendered using the get by and get all by queries from React testing library. But what if we want to test that a certain element is not rendered in the DOM? Let's see how to test such scenarios in this video. I have set up some code behind the scenes, so let me walk you through the changes. In skills.tsx, I have now added a state variable called isLoggedIn, which is set to false by default. In the JSX, we conditionally render buttons. If the user is logged in, we render a button to start learning. However, if the user is not logged in, we render a button called login on click of which we call the setter function that sets is logged in to true. We have imported use state hook at the top to make this possible. If I head to the browser, you can see the login button is present. And when I click on the button, start learning button is present. What is important to note though, is that on render, only login button is shown and start learning button is not present in the UI. Let's head back to VS Code and write the tests. In skills.test.tsx, add a new test. The name is renders login button. And the second argument is a function. Here, we render the skills component with the props. Find the button element using getByRole method. Screen.getByRole. The role is button. Name is login. And in the next line, we expect it to be in the document. If we save the file and switch to our testing terminal where yarn test is running, we have all the three tests passing. Now that we are able to confirm the login button is present in the UI, let's ensure the start learning button is not being rendered. For our fourth test, the name is going to be start learning button is not rendered. And the second argument is a function. First, we render the skills component. Then we get by role the start learning button. Const start learning button is equal to screen dot get by role button with a name start learning. Just want to make sure L is lowercase. Finally, we expect it to not be in the document. Expect start learning button not to be in the document. If we now save the file, we have an error. If you scroll to the top, we see unable to find an accessible element with the role button and name start learning. But this is exactly what we want. We don't want the button to be in the DOM. The problem is that all get by and get all by class of queries throw an error if they can't find the matching element. Well then, how do we fix this test? Well, this is where a new class of queries come into picture. They are the query by and query all by class of queries. 
query by returns the matching node for the query and returns null if no elements match. This is useful for asserting an element that is not present. It throws an error if more than one match is found. Query all by returns an array of all matching nodes for a query and returns an empty array if no elements match. All we have to do back in our test is replace get by role with query by role. Save the file and the test now passes. Please do keep in mind what we have seen here is just query by role but all suffixes we have seen with get by hold good for query by as well. Make sure to use the appropriate query method based on your requirements. So to summarize, when we want to ensure an element is not present in the DOM, we can make use of the query by or query all by class of queries from React testing library. Query by returns the matching node for a query and returns null if no elements match. Query all by returns an array of all matching nodes for a query and returns an empty array if no elements match. In our example, we used query by role to ensure a button element is not present in the DOM. If this is clear, let's proceed to the next video where we are going to learn about the final class of queries that React Testing Library offers. I'll see you in the next one.